Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sci Friday. My name is Brandon. I'm the Education Director here at the Grout Museum. Uh, coming back to you with the Tesla coil, one of my favorite experiments we've done so far on this show. And the first time we did the Tesla coil, I kind of showed you how it worked. I showed you a few things you can do with the Tesla coil, but I didn't really explain much about those experiments. So I'm coming back to you today with the experiment of the lighting up light bulb without it being plugged in and kind of explaining more how that worked. So the first thing we're going to do is show the experiment again so you can remember. If you do want to know more about how the Tesla coil works, go back and find our first video, the first one about Tesla coil. And that will show you more exactly about how this thing actually works. But we're going to go ahead and run the experiment now. So what is actually happening in that experiment? What is causing this light bulb to light up? Because if you know a normal light bulb in a normal situation, you have to plug it into a certain kind of socket in order for it to light up. So the reason this can light up is there's a few things. One, it's filled with a very specific kind of gas known as argon. Now argon is what's known as a noble gas. So it doesn't like ignite when it touches electricity like some gases can. Um, so it is in what is called an inert gas. Now, argon is special in that way because that means it can interact with electricity in specific ways without catching on fire. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you kind of how that works and how it actually makes light from these gases. In an argon atom, there are these different rings. And these rings represent different levels of energy. If it's closer to this center, which is called the nucleus, the ring closest to the center have the lowest amount of energy in them. The further away you get, the more energy they have. So these electrons that are floating around in this first ring have less energy than this electron out here. What happens when you put a tube of argon into an electric field like the Tesla coil is you end up making these inner electrons jump up in energy. So now they have more energy. But that's not what actually causes the light. What causes the light is that this is not the normal place for this electron. And so that electron wants to get back to basically like its home. And so then when it loses a little bit of energy, it drops back down. And when it drops back down, that energy it loses to go back down to the lower level becomes the light that you see. And so that just constantly happens inside of a light bulb. And that's why you constantly get light. There's just all this argon gas gaining and losing energy and creating light. And so this Tesla coil, what it does is it puts electrical energy into an area around it. And so as this bulb gets closer, those electrons gain energy, go up a level. And then as they lose energy, they put light out. And so the electric field is what creates that extra energy to begin with. So that is what we have for you on this Sci Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we are going to start doing these every other week instead of every week as we have started to open up some parts of our museum. Please come and visit us. But we will see you in two weeks. And for now, have a good week. <laughs>